humidifier going on because I see he has like a stuffy nose so I'm trying to get rid of that so this is how I'm looking y'all this is how mommy Natalie is looking see I can't believe I'm a whole mom out here I'm super grateful I love every second of it hi guys welcome back it's been a minute it's been a long while i haven't been active really on social media like that so i kind of just wanted to pick up the camera this is gonna be like a personal diary that i'm just gonna upload on youtube and then go from there i should have been started doing this because before i was just thinking about the views and the money yeah i want to be youtube famous but now i don't really care about that now i just wanted like video diaries honestly to myself and just have somewhere to put them which would be youtube 20 25 years later from now i could just look back and go on youtube and see my old videos i feel like that'll be so cool to see since i had my baby in february a lot happened january was right there i just had my baby in february and it's already may i've been kind of busy with nursing school i started nursing school this this year in january while pregnant yes while six months pregnant should i backtrack should i backtrack even more before that, before I started nursing school, I was not planning to get pregnant with my boyfriend. This was kind of a surprise to both of us. And you know, we don't believe in that abortion stuff. So it was like, we having this baby. So whatever happens, happens. You know, I'm the youngest of three older brothers and I'm the only girl and you know, I got a Haitian mom. So if you know, you know. I had Nakari at seven months. February, I was seven months at 31 weeks. They say placenta ruptured. I started bleeding. And I got rushed to the hospital. Thank God my mom was here. I rushed to the hospital. And basically they had to just do an emergency section because my baby's heart rate was going down and my blood pressure was skyrocketing. Everything happened so fast that day. It was kind of like a blur. I wasn't panicking. I was just like trying to keep calm as much as possible. All the nurses, everybody was just like like a lot going on and my mind kind of just like zoned out i was just trying to keep my sanity in the moment my placenta ruptured and they had to deliver the baby right there and then and i was like what what do you mean i have to deliver this baby now or either you or the baby's not gonna make it everything went smoothly had the surgery baby came out fine but then we started having these episodes of fast heart rate something called SVT, which is super ventricular tachycardia. This is my first time hearing about this, honestly. And I asked the nurses at the NICU, was this something that common in preemie babies or in babies general? They said it's not something that's common. So I was like, okay. 
Like, what's causing my baby to have these fast heart rates? My baby had to stay at the NICU for two months. It was trying to basically see the right dosage and the right amount of medications to give him to stop as heart rate. He prescribed him some heart medications, basically trying to keep his heart rate under control. So that was something that was kind of scary seeing him have because he would show no signs of it. If he didn't have the monitor, we'd never know he was having the tachycardia. <laughs> Oh, he's yawning. Though. And he's very good at sucking. Yeah? Yes. Oh, that's amazing. Okay. He's so red. Okay, no problem. I have the ice right there. Oh, that explains the heart rate. Casey, can you pass me the ice? Oh, I'm sorry. He's now three months. I had to come home with three medications, propranolol, amiterone, and flecainide. The reason he's having the SVTs is because he has an extra electrical circuit that's not supposed to be there. There is not a surgery, but an ablation that it can do. It goes through like the leg catheter, and they can basically just zap that extra electrical circuit that is making him have those fast heart rate episodes. But since he's so small, his cardiologist was saying, okay, just give him some time for him to grow out of it. Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. He's doing amazing. That's really the only reason why he stayed at the NICU for so long is because of the tachycardia episodes that he was having. I would visit him every single day at the NICU and bring him milk. I was pumping a lot of milk, so I would bring him a lot of breast milk and drinking a lot of milk, sleeping, pooping. <laughs> I'm just enjoying this new journey of motherhood, and honestly, I'm loving it. I love every second of it i love my baby so much i'm going to try to upload some videos where i would go visit him at the nicu and i'll insert them here okay okay <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Hey, Papa. Yes, I got it. And yeah, that was him at the NICU. I'm healing well from the surgery. My support system. My support system. I'm in awe and I thank God every day. Brothers, my mom, my boyfriend, guys, he's been my backbone through all in all. My mom, with my surgery, I couldn't really move like that after the C section. Because in Daphne, like you, everybody, just so amazing. So, so, so amazing. Let's backtrack a little bit because I haven't even talked about the baby shower. <laughs> baby shower was amazing i love the baby shower everything about the baby shower was i loved it so much it was so much fun and i was so happy to see everybody there and with the gifts oh my god the gifts the gifts i got almost everything off my registry and i'm so happy you could ask you about the crib um i haven't set up the crib in here yet um shakina brought the stroller um i have a bassinet a, a lot of gifts a lot of people didn't put names on them so i don't really know who brought what the bassinet swing the sterilizer baby clothes 
diapers. He got diapers. He sat for diapers for years. <laughs> super grateful. Super, super grateful. Baby was born before we had the baby shower. <laughs> the thing is, a lot of people thought I was going to cancel the baby shower because, you know, baby shower is when you shower the baby with love. But since my baby was in my stomach, a lot of people thought I was just going to go ahead and cancel the baby shower. I already had the place booked. Honestly, I just wanted to still see everybody, my friends and family, and still celebrate because like my OB said, if I would have got into the hospital even an hour or like 30 minutes later, either me or my baby wouldn't have made it gonna use the baby shower to celebrate thank god thank jesus my baby's here my baby's healthy my baby made it i made it it was a really scary situation i think it was a sign of preeclampsia because when i was going to my prenatal visits the ob that i was seeing before he said that my blood pressure was really really high and that i had to just lower my salt intake i feel like that was a sign of preeclampsia because my blood pressure was skyrocketing in the 200s and it lasted high like that even after i had the emergency section a week or two my blood pressure was still high and they prescribed me some medications to bring my blood pressure down and after that I just went back down to normal 